Hey there, crazy kids, I am the Good Old Gamer, and welcome back to some more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Jedi Knight Gatlin. Continuing on where we left off before, let's fast travel around. I think we're going to fast travel out here and then travel our way down the road. We do have this opened up to travel to, but we haven't explored this road yet. And I believe there's one or two quests along the way. So let's go do that. Oh, that was dumb. We have to go back into the temple. Sorry, guys. That was really, that was dumb. That was dumb, that was dumb. Um, where am I? Uh, while we're here, we should stop by. Well, we need to be doing this quest too, but we need to go to the, uh, we need to go to the trainer. We've gotten a few levels, and uh, since we're right here, I mean, we need to, we should go to the trainer and get a, uh, any more abilities that they might have for us. Could have so done this from the cantina if I'd have thought about it. Um, hopefully they have some more abilities. Do you? Yes, you do. Of course, you do. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. Oh, you have a couple. This one purges all incapacitating movement, impairing effects. This this is the thing that'll give us um, the ability to get out of being stunned faster. Um, and I'm gonna move that actually over here, out of the way. And then this is Blade Dance with. Which is another attack, and that's it for now. We can spar any time um, until we get our advanced class, and then the trainers will have another menu for the advanced abilities. Boy, I'm so glad I remembered that. Almost forgot. I'll just heal up from that real quick. <laughs> Sometimes jumping off ledges uh, is faster travel, but uh, it also hurts you. So There's also this side quest here that we can work on again. This guy will want us to fight some more droids. That was an impressive go earlier, but we've upped the programming on these droids. Care to give it another shot? Get out there and show them what you're made of. Okie dokie. Well, that's glowing blue, so it looks like this is the arena we gotta go to now. Dooby dooby doo. Um, do this. Come on. Oh, that was it? One droid, really? That was fast. Hi, are you impressed? I'm so awesome. Good work out there. We're going to have to get you a real challenge next time. Well, more than one droid would be nice. Ah, and we reached level 10. Yeah, hype. Level 10 hype. I didn't expect to get that far. <laughs> I guess I should have paid attention to the to the experience bar. I didn't expect to get that high on just that. Um, we can move this over. This is for the emergency fleet pa pla pass. Blah, 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 blah. This will allow us to get to the fleet from anywhere. Uh, if we, we needed to get, you know, resupplied with modifications, armor, weapons, all that. I uh, don't really want to do that now until our story brings us to the fleet naturally. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, let's go back to the trainer. While I'm here, sorry guys for the repetition, but I didn't plan on the uh, level up so fast. I guess I should have. I'm thinking the trainer's going to have more for us. Also, now that we've got level 10, you can see up there, this is where our 
where we're going to be leveling up. I'll pick my advanced class here in a minute. Now the trainer doesn't have anything new for us right now, but that's because we haven't picked our advanced class yet. Now, naturally in the storyline, once you get to the Republic fleet, you're going to get a little side mission in order to pick your advanced class. Um, but generally speaking, unless you're sticking strictly to the story missions, and even then I'm pretty sure you're going to hit level 10 before you get off of this world and to the Republic fleet, uh, you can pick your advanced class early, and that's what we're going to do here. Looks like we're going to get to pick between the Guardian, and the Sentinel Guardian provides uh, tanking and damage, and this is straight up DPS because dual shields compared to one shield and a lightsaber. Um, but they do get heavy armor because, you know, they're the tankish type, and we only can wear medium armor on here, although... Like I've said before, the best armors in the game are adaptive, and anybody can wear them, so it's fine. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pick Sentinel. Now, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Combat, because that's straight up pretty easy to go through. Um, we can inspect before we pick our options, and you can see the kind of abilities you're gonna get. Um, with the Watchmen you get stuff like Force Melt, Cauterization, Merciless Slash, Overload uh, the Saber. Combat you get things like a different lightsaber form, uh, Blade Rush, Precision, Clashing Blast, and Concentrations, a bunch of these like Force Powers, Focused Burst, Zealous Sleep, Force Exhaustion, Concentration traded slash I think we're gonna go with combat because it's just uh, easier and more straight up and I've played it before so I have a better idea of what I know what I'm doing we can inspect these further by checking out ahead of time the sort of abilities here these are automatic as you level up you gain these automatically a lot of these are passive a lot of these are and some of these are um, active ones that you get on your bar you just get them naturally as you level up. These here are points that you unlock so that you can pick and choose he out of these here which ones you want to pick. These are your optional, how you uh, customize your leveled experience. It gives you different bonuses to different abilities. But if you want to take a look at all these, this is how you do it. Um, I'm pretty confident in what I'm going to pick so we can go back. Um, and you can also do the same thing over here. You can inspect the Guardian as well to check out their different abilities if you're interested. We're going to commit to the Sentinel. Um, if you do this, you can't change it. It's final. You can change the spec, one of the three specs, but you can't change the overall class. We're going to commit. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to pick the combat uh Pretty sure it was combat that I picked. Yeah, combat. Commit. The discipline you can change later uh, if you want. It's going to cost you, but you can do it. And now we get this, which is the Ataru form, which is a new lightsaber form. So that's going to go over here. Actually, I'm going to move that over a little bit. That's going to go right there. And we're going to activate it. And this is going to be our new form that we're going to be using because most of our abilities will be attuned to it, I believe. Um, increases alacrity. Is that it? 20% chance to trigger a second strike, dealing extra damage. And it can occur more than once. So, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, that's it for, for now. And as you can see there, there's a plus sign under the trainer, so they have something more for us. Glad to share my skills with someone talented. Oh, we get a bunch of abilities now. What's this? Um, 
Reduces all damage taken by 20% and deals 25% energy damage to attackers. This effect can occur more than once every second. Last six seconds. Okay. Zealous Strike strikes the target multiple times with both lightsabers. Requires two lightsabers, so we won't be using be using that for a little while. Um, requires and converts 30 stacks of centering to... I guess that's what this is here, is the centering is what they're calling it. To enter a Zen state, lasts for six charges. This effect varies. We have the Ataru form, grants 30% alacrity. Uh, each attack consumes one charge. So I think this is going to be like a buff. I don't know. Anyways, um, so we got those. We got those abilities. What's this? I think it lasts for like six seconds or something. Yeah. So that'll be something we use during the middle of an attack. Um, strike and Zen. I guess we'll leave that there for now. I'm not really sure. I might move some of those later. Oh, and another thing you get with your advanced class, and I've seen streamers, I've seen Let's Players pick their advanced class and not realize this, but one thing you automatically get, no matter what advanced class you have, is the is an extra pack here. So you select it, you unlock it, and you get some item that's valuable to your class. If I had picked Guardian, we would have got a uh, shield for our offhand, and in this we get a uh, a lightsaber instead because we picked the Sentinel, so we have dual lightsabers. This is an offhand lightsaber. Um, I could use this now, and I kind of want to use this now, but I'm not going to because of story. Story-wise, we haven't found our first lightsaber yet, and it's kind of a momentous occasion. But as soon as we do find the first one, I will be using that one as well. Um, you don't have to. You could use it right now. I, in fact, I've already got some lightsabers um, unlocked in the cartel market, so I could have dual lightsabers right now anyway, even if I didn't get that extra one. Um, and it's fine. The game doesn't punish you for doing that or anything. It's not cheating or anything like that. Uh, as long as you've got your advanced class, you've got the training to have that. But I just don't want to because, you know, story-wise, I don't want to break the immersion that much. So yeah, anyways, we are now a Jedi Sentinel. Woohoo! Another good thing about weapons like this that are orange, by the way, weapons or armor. Any weapon or armor that's orange, by the way, you can modify so it can level up with you, basically, as soon as you get modifications that are higher levels and stuff. So it's always good to have those. All right, here's a uh, mission for us. I seem to be cursed. Well, why do I always get the pupils who think they're the exceptions to the rule? Master Silvarte, it's true that our Padawans are acting a bit strangely, but I don't think there's cause for concern. Wait, I have an idea. You, Padawan, I know you. Um, you need me? I'm here to help. Is there anything I can do? Indeed, I have heard good things about you. I'm hoping they weren't overblown. Master Silvarte is concerned about a couple of our Padawans. He suspects that they are, well... If I'm correct, they are following their passions down a dark path. Uh, we already got our lecture about romance is bad from our other master, so I'll just ask that. I certainly understand your concern. In all other aspects, these two are model pupils, but I agree we would be remiss if we didn't do what we can to settle the issue. They may be more open and revealing with a student like you. We need you to confront them and discover if they are indeed cultivating a romance. 
If they're breaking the Jedi Code, I promise you, I will find out. Their names are Morrison and Spanios. As we speak, they are in the ruins of Lower Caleth. So go, talk with them, and report back what you discover about the relationship. Try not to alert or alarm them. If they are in love, they are sure to be volatile. Alrighty then, well we're headed that way anyway, so it's all good. Master Orgus' new apprentice. Wow. Everyone says you're great with a vibroblade. I'm Thea. Padawan Thea. Still have to get used to having a title. I've just started learning about the Force. I've got a long way to go before I'm as good as you. You seem a little old to begin the training. Until a few days ago, I didn't even know I could use the Force. I still can't believe I'm here. Just last week, I was crowing a garbage scow on Rax's Prime. Then this scary-looking Jedi shows up out of nowhere and says that he can sense the Force in me. What are the odds? Jedi aren't normally known for their intimidating appearance. He's told <laughs> the aliens go. They're pretty fierce-looking. I thought he was going to eat me at first. <laughs> Say, do you know Master Talon? He's the one who discovered me. I'm trying to get a message to him. Master Talon is studying a big mystery in Kaleth's ruins. Something about ancient droids attacking people? If you're headed to the ruins, would you give him this holo recording from me? I'd be so grateful. <laughs> Sorry I laughed there, but uh, Gatlin just said that they're not known for their intimidating appearance, and he's a Sith pureblood. <laughs> not that he's too terribly intimidating. I mean, he's the smallest guy, you know, body type you could have, but he's a, still a Sith pureblood, so it's just it's funny to see that come from him. Uh, sure, we can do that. Allow me to do this. Terrific. I can see why everybody here is so impressed with you. Here's the hollow recording. Master Tillin has a small camp outside the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for doing this. Uh, if you noticed, she had a purple triangle on top. Um, and that was... I believe that means that she is a... Uh, she provided the world quest. Because it's not our main quest storyline, which is also purple. That means it's for this particular world. Um... And you can do that regardless of whether you're playing as a Jedi uh, Knight or Consular, so. And where are we going? We're just following this road, looks like. I should probably get the mount back on. Oh, you want to fight me, huh? Okay, fine. Be that way. I do like that the map can go transparent so you can still see where you're going and see the map at the same time. Oh, we got new mail. Probably more spammers. Actually, we've got a few side quests done, so it might be the NPCs mailing us for side quests. I don't know if I have any junk. Go, you can have that. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. And this is the person, the scary Jedi that the other lady we were just talking to wanted us to give the message to. Padawan Fia sends her regards, and this holo recording. <laughs> you can be a real jerk in some of these dialogues. You seem to have survived the encounter. Mana na tu pachunki. Oi grani tampio do me donki. Cha kulka du magi taus hagwa upa. Crispa do e kankin kunke gupa. Do bataji moa atima. What happened to the rest of the droid's parts? 
no i kuchusu yo mata chi pompota. Ki mata tamta chi ruli ya? No e ayu ya ti a chawupa. Tinka dwana che mai chuba. A chuna kwa bo nuta dubita. Why not simply wipe out all the droids? Mokele ma klonki ni atam bompa bo shuda. Ji wom ta humpa muli ra wata wompa. Kyo topa vu banda baka wanki. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Dwana wanki wabda ya tuga loka. Kili wata bunki donko patoga loda. Uh, we can do that for you. I'll get those samplings for you in no time, Master Talin. Iliska chanaga bumpa komchinka. Wonka tuske uwana wa. Zuza neko higa da noila. Tu chananga e ma chai. Yunaliska chananga wachikospa ini kontinka. Okay, so we get to scan a bunch of droids. Woohoo! This here, this guy, is going to give us a heroic mission. Um, you can pick up the mission, but don't do it until you have a companion, and trust me, believe me, you don't want to do a heroic mission without either a companion or, you know, another player, that sort of thing. They're really, really tough. I did it the first time, not realizing that you needed a companion to help, and I died, like, I don't know, a dozen times trying to get it done. Um, the bosses, the, the boss enemies in there can be really, really tough if you're not careful. So, yeah. Rest here, my friend. The air is cold and the mountain paths are treacherous. Words are unnecessary when the force is with you. What's a Jedi doing all the way out here? My name is Dozan. I stand watch over Caleth, and I walk the path surrounding its grounds. I meditate upon my failure, and I learn of our past. As a Padawan, I came to Caleth. Here I touched temptation and the dark side. Having failed once, I now act through other Jedi. Many helped me find knowledge of ancient Tython. Your mission sounds like a noble one. The task is difficult, but also calming. I look at Caleth from afar, but never touch. By trusting others to walk where I cannot, I broaden my perspective. Lately, I've learned of a chamber hidden in Upper Caleth, one central to a Tythonian machine. I'd very much like to restore the chamber's power. The old scrolls describe it as a place of knowledge and speech. Beyond that, I don't know its function, but it should do harm to no one. Without energy, the chamber has slept for millennia, yet there are droids in the ruins that still function, and you might use their power cells to fuel the machine. It's a good suggestion. I'll do what I can. Then go and tend this electric garden. Plant the droid seeds in the soil of the machine. Together, we'll bring the Tythonian secrets to light. Okie dokie. Like I said, this is going to be a heroic mission. Um, you can see it right there. It says Heroic 2+. Plus. The 2+, plus means you have to have at least two. You and a companion, or you and another player character and stuff. It's it's really, really challenging. Um, we got some new mail, so we're going to check that out while we're here. Um, another spam. Lovely. Because of course it is. Alright, and this here is where the obviously the taxi is to taxi back and forth to different places. If you don't have the quick travel that we have, that's another option for you. And I believe we're supposed to go this way. Yep, it's looking like it. That's where all of our missions are. Figure I've got about maybe 10 more minutes on this video, so we should get some of this done. Now I need to select one of these and scan and hopefully they don't disappear. But they probably will pretty quick. 
Got to be really careful about this. See, they're already disappearing. Ah, whatever. And then select. And select. And select. And we can't do it. Darn it. Um, by the way, you can move these over to the bar if you want to, but I find it's just easy enough to get to them from there most of the time. It does help actually when they have loot, in case you're wondering, because they won't disappear until you get the loot. So you can scan the ones that don't have any. Now, hopefully we can scan these. One of these, come on. No, I want to scan the other one. Why are you so annoying? Whatever. Fine, be that way. Go over here to these guys, then. Scan. Actually, no, wait. Before we do that, I'm going to finish up the side missions here and get a few more droids. Um, because if we complete that, we might not be able to do that and get it to count. So... Okay, now... Now we can scan. I guess you can scan while they still have the inventory in them, which is good. All right. So now we're done with that. Um, all right, we need to go talk to these people. These are the two Padawans who are so in love. You found it. Well done, Morrison. Oh, Spanios, I couldn't have done it without you. You're amazing. I don't care what the masters say. We're proving everyone wrong. Come here and give me a kiss. Well, it seems your master's concerns were valid. Who are you? This isn't what you think it is. I think you two are romantically involved. Okay, maybe it is what you think. <laughs> Spanios. I'm sorry, my love, but I'm sick of hiding. The order is wrong. Fear, not emotion, is the adversary of the Jedi way. Ironically, the Masters fear emotion, and therefore, they deny us its bounty. The power of our love is why we work so well together. Our teamwork allowed us to find this rare lightsaber crystal. So our passion actually strengthens the order. Let's ask your masters about that. I think they'll be hard to convince. Spanius, please help me convince this upstart not to expose us. I love you, Morrison. And so if you believe we must remain hidden, I honor that. But it may take a sacrifice. You mean the crystal. I agree, my love. Friend, if you tell the masters we're not romantically involved, we'll give you this powerful crystal for your future lightsaber. Would that buy your silence? Bribery, Spanios? You're only proving the Jedi Code right. Your fall is upon us. No! I cannot let you go! Morrison, no! Don't lash out in anger! He's only following his own path. Just go, friend. Do what you will. By the way, if you've unlocked any lightsaber crystals uh, for your collection, 
you know, from like the Cartel Market or Galactic Network or anything. The crystals that they give you here are pretty worthless. <laughs> I've done the opposite side, the dark side part of that. And it's not, they're not very good crystals. I mean, they're good if you're a brand new character and you don't have any extra stuff yet, but they're not that great altogether. Um, where am I going now? What is that? Another mission? Oh, right. This one will be quick. Little side mission over here. We're going to save a flesh raider, baby. So it wants us to get us some meat for the baby, which is from these things right up here. Need to get a couple more. And one more ought to do it. Alright, oh, quick and easy. Go back to the baby and save it. Yay, and then we have to just go to the temple to give it off to the master, but we'll be doing that later. Um, oh, right, we got to return there to do the side quest. What is that? Oh, that's the heroic. We're going to be doing that way later. Let's go over here. I guess this is where we need to go for our mission, our main mission. Come on. Must be too close, I guess. I was gonna... I was gonna leap over and couldn't, so I guess I was too close. By the way, whenever you're in an instance, your character's name comes up on top there. Or if you're in a group, whoever started it, I guess. But um, I like to kill all the enemies in an instance where my name is because they don't generally respawn. Come on. <clears throat> Obviously, out, if you're out in the open world and not in an instance, then uh, they will respawn, so killing them all isn't necessary most of the time, unless you're trying to complete a mission or bonus objective or whatever. One shot and all the way. Yeah. Um, 
Did you just call me Jedi? <laughs> Okay, a speaking flesh raider. Well, that was. And we're back, crazy kids. Uh, I ran out of hard drive space, so my recording stopped. And then my game crashed. So we're back. Um, we did kill all of the enemies in that instance. You guys didn't miss anything because. As soon as the video ended, thankfully Fraps managed to stop it in time, so the video file should be saved. Uh, so hopefully you guys didn't miss anything, but we did finish the instance in our main mission, um, killing all the enemies, but we still need to go talk to the, I believe a Jedi Master showed up there at the very end, right before my game crashed. Um, so we're going to load up here, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be right there where we left off in the instance, or if um, we're going to have to redo the whole thing. So we'll see where we end up. I've never crashed before in the middle of an instance. So let's check it out. Find out where we go. Um, we're going to finish up the mission there in that instance. And then that's going to be the end for this video. Because obviously I need to get these rendered and uploaded and off my hard drive. Ah, we're right here. Good. So we're right here at the end. So we didn't miss anything. Just continuing where we left off before. Let's go ahead and finish this quest. Talking to this uh, Jedi Master here, I believe. Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? I didn't come here hoping to kill someone. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Mouth gets ahead of my brains. This flash raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. Master Orgus thinks he knows who's behind it. I gathered as much, but he had no time to explain before sending us here. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic Capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins. The temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. Maybe we'll get lucky, find their leader. May the force be with you, Padawan. Okie dokie. Well, we got that done. Um, now what do I have to do? Oh, we got to put some more cameras up there, out there, that way. We'll do that real quick, and we'll make our way back to the... To, oh, we missed some enemies. We'll have to go back there, or else... Well, they, I imagine they respawned, because we respawned in the instance. So, yeah. Okay. Well. Would it be faster to... Uh, you know what? It shouldn't be... Shouldn't make a difference. We're gonna have to travel either way. So we'll get to kill these guys again. Yay!
Whoa! How did I end up... <laughs> that was weird. Alrighty then. Well, the leaps made it quicker than I thought it would be. Let's heal up a little bit. Um, there we go. Alright, so now we gotta plant some cameras in those spots. Ah, it looks like somebody else is maybe doing that too. Okay, we got that one. Um, over that way some more. Oop. Well, if you want to attack me, that's your death. See, that guy's wearing one of the uh, subscriber reward things for the the Starfighter outfits. Um... I guess it's over this way. Ah, right here. Okay, and now to go over there. So let's go up here. Whoop. Go that way. Oop. That was a cool move, turning around and stabbing him from behind. Looks like that way. Behind this wall, maybe. Yes, no, uh. What? Oh, up there, okay. I see now. Now how do I get over there? Oh. Let me up! Thank you. Come on. There we go. Thank you for that. I wanted to get that loot box, but the players are over there, so they're probably going to get it. Darn it anyway. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. Uh, sure. Already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Work us out. Darn it! You took my loot! How dare you take my loot! How dare you! It's okay, I'll buff you anyway. <laughs> um. I kind of want to wait around for the loot to show up again. But I wonder if that's what he's doing. No, he's leaving. Okay. Uh, it's easy loot. What do I have for loot anyway? Just a bunch of junk. Why 
Why'd you have to take my loot? Ugh. All right, let's go back to the uh, to the place we need to go to. Try to get rid of these fools. You know what? We'll fast travel. It'll just be quicker because it's fast travel. Duh. Um, <laughs> we'll finish up the quests along the way, these side quests, and. Uh, end up at the Jedi Temple Cantina. Finish off this video. You? Ta du magi, ta hus hagwa upa. Oi grani tampio du me doki. Wata botenya nucha nu bota. Kitrita ni ni ta nuv. Tapola kupi de opra. Anquas nimna mata sungri. Wonka tuske uwana wa Zuza neko higa da noila Tu cha nanga e ma chai I've never heard of these force wars Chobod yi kafu anchawa Chop ting wampa la hagwa doi biska Grula waska kwa bobana Chichawa una chichitua Vifa karibu uta chuba na ganga. Krispa do e kankin kunke gupa. Do bata ji mwa atima. So what do you see happening next? Pi kai iana kuzu. Mana natu pachunki. Gokola ko panate yakna. Punyo blasto wonkiti ato konchi. Okie dokie. Currency and a med pack. <clears throat> Ooh, and another level. Lovely. Um, I'll sell my junk while we're right here. Maybe traps, or I don't know. You are fit for line. duty. Return to your post. Settlers of Tython knew only the Force. We'll head back this way because we've got to talk to those Jedi Masters about the couple that was in love and shouldn't be. <clears throat> this is actually a bit of a hypocritical side quest because you're. You can eventually have a romance in this game with one of your companions if you wanted to. Uh, even though they go on and on about how Jedi aren't supposed to do that. Were you successful, Padawan? Did you find our pupils in the ruins? Well, tell us, what did you uncover about the nature of Spanius and Morrison's relationship? Are they romantically involved? Yep. Your fears are justified, Masters. Spanios and Morrison are romantically involved. I knew it. As I said, Yolo, I'm cursed. It seems we're both cursed, my friend. They will have to renounce their love and agree to remain apart, or they will never become Jedi. What a waste. But you have done well, young one. I know it must not be pleasant scrutinizing your fellow Padawan. It was a difficult assignment. I didn't enjoy spying on my fellows. We are sorry. It was necessary. For your efforts in this matter, please take this as a token of commendation. Oh, good. We get a lightsaber crystal that we're never going to use because I got better ones. But hey, why not? So see, you get a lightsaber crystal either way. Um... Does this guy have another quest for us yet? Nope. Um, do we have... Oh yeah, we have to go into the Jedi Temple anyway. That's good, because we got to talk to that one guy about the... Um, uh, what is it? The Flesh Raider baby. Gotta get that done. 
Then we'll have all the side quests done for now. A flesh raider, baby. See how the Force tests my dedication to assisting the helpless of this world. You did the right thing. Leave him with me. I'll convene the Council to decide how to handle this. Yay! More experience! <laughs> we just leveled up! Just a little bit ago over at that other place. And we're almost at another level again. <laughs> ah, the major experience boost. We've got 42 minutes left on that one, and we still got four more to go. Three hours each. We're going to be good for a while. Uh, doesn't look like he's got anything for us. With someone talented. Just double checking. And now time to go to the cantina. Where is the cantina? This way, I think. Right, looks like it. And that'll be it for this video, boys and girls. Sorry about the inconvenience of the split. Didn't actually intend for that to happen, but hey, whatever. Um, I am the good old gamer. This has been more Star Wars The Old Republic. We're playing as Jedi Knight Catelyn. And we're still on Tython, continuing on from here. Next time, we will head back to the Calicori village, I believe, to talk to Master Orgus. Stay tuned for that. Bye-bye. For now.